So I have a lot of mechanical keyboards, some wired and some wireless, and I like them quite a lot, but there's a reason that none of the wireless ones are my daily drivers. And that's because I absolutely need a numpad. And guess what? I think I found the perfect mechanical keyboard for me. And we're talking about it on your boot sequence. This is the Keychron K4, and what's special about this one is that it's the version 2 with some well-deserved tweaks to make it better. We'll uh, talk about those in a little while. This specific model is about $115 US, so it's right at the border between budget and premium keyboards in my opinion. In the box, you'll find a warning that we'll talk about a little bit later, uh, a little manual here to explain to you how the RGB and stuff works. We have obviously the keyboard and look at this chonker. I swear to God, it's so beautiful and it's super solid. But we'll get back to that in a second. And of course you got uh, a manual, a USB type A to type C cable, a keycap puller, and of course a key switch puller. Actually, we also have a couple of replacement little uh, keycaps depending on what OS you're using. So let's go back to the keyboard real quick. I'm not gonna lie, this one is definitely one of the more premium keyboards that I've ever felt. I mean, damn, it has zero flex even if you really pound down on it. I believe it's about 800 grams, so it's on the heavy side. There's three basic versions of the K4 right now. There's one that has a plastic frame with white backlight, one that has a plastic frame and RGB backlight, and the one that we have right here, which has an aluminum frame and RGB lighting. There's a difference of about $20 between the plastic white and the aluminum RGB version, but man, I would pick this one every time. The K4 V2 is a 96% keyboard. The only keys it's missing is print screen, scroll lock, pause break, and insert. So it has a hundred keys total. Looking at the design, it packs all of it with no voids, which means that it's about two inches thinner than a usual full sized keyboard. The font on the keycaps is actually pretty slick. Very legible during daytime, which apparently was an issue with the uh, V1. They are laser etched ABS, so it's something to keep in mind, and the finish is smooth to the touch. The RGB is bright and even during nighttime, but because of the thinner font, it's not as bright as some other keyboards. Still very legible though. It has three typing positions, thanks to the two sets of feet at the bottom, so you got flat, inclined, and a little more inclined. That's something that they also improved from the V1. Very nice. The V2 also brings in hot swappable switches, which is great if you end up not liking the switches you chose. I have the Gatoron G Pro Reds here, but you can get it in either blue or brown too. All those are pre-lubed. Keep in mind though, that the tilde key only supports three pin switches. The rest of the keys support both three and five pin switches. I mean, you could just cut off the extra pins on a five pin switch. They're just, you know, dead stubs, but that's up to you. Now, before we talk about the functionality, you gotta hear this keyboard because in my opinion, it sounds amazing. For a $100 full solution, it sounds great. And it's not just the sound, it actually feels really great to type on, especially with the lubed switches. I have the reds, so it's very linear, but I don't encounter any kind of grinding and there's barely any key wobble. Like I'm pretty impressed with this. Now let's talk about the features. The K4 V2 is wireless and it uses Bluetooth 5.1 to do that. I'm normally a little bit iffy about Bluetooth because sometimes it duplicates characters, but I had zero issues with this model. It can store up to three different devices and it has a dedicated Mac OS mode through a switch on the side. To pair each of the slots for the first time, you just have to press and hold the FN key and one of the numbers, so one, two, or three, and you hold that for four seconds. 
that puts it in pairing mode. Then if you want to toggle between them, you just hit function and the whatever number you used for the specific device. So one, two, or three. You'll also notice that it has a lot of keys at the top that have specific features like screen brightness and multimedia keys. And while you can access these features by just hitting function and those keys, you can also hold function X and L for four seconds, the keyboard's gonna flash red, and that's gonna switch the keyboard to having those keys as priority, and the F row will now be accessible through the function key. That's pretty neat. In terms of battery life, with the RGB always on, I got about three days of use, but it also depends on which RGB mode you're on. Depending on the effect that you choose, it can last a little bit longer, but I kept it off and I had a good week and a half before I had to plug it in. As you can see, the cable is all the way to the left side with a right angle connector. This is my preferred spot for a keyboard because, I mean, if you play with an aggressive tilt like me, the cable isn't in your mouse's way while you're moving. Which brings me to today's sponsor, AliExpress. AliExpress is having their back to school event really soon and they sent me this drawing tablet to promote it. If you don't like a mouse or you want a better way to draw on your PC or smartphone, you can use this digital tablet, the Huion H430P. It supports the standard 4096 pressure levels. It has a resolution of 5080 lines per inch. The pen doesn't need a battery and this thing is super lightweight. You can get this or really, any other products during AliExpress's back to school sale from August 22nd all the way through August 26th. And the rebates go all the way up to 70% off. Don't forget to check out the links in the description down below. Who knows, maybe the K4 V2 will be on sale too. Which, well, brings me back to it. Let me just clean up a little bit. Let's talk software. Officially, there's none. Keychron doesn't have one, but it doesn't mean that you can't control it through your computer. There's this software called VIA and some hacked firmware available online that allow you to access basic functionality on your PC, like per-key RGB customization and key remapping. The only thing is, you lose Bluetooth, and since my favorite feature here is the fact that it's wireless, I'm skipping that. I'm perfectly fine with the 15 plus lighting effects that come with this thing. And there are other well-known and more trustworthy softwares for macros and key remapping. So yeah, that's the Keychron K4 V2. It definitely improved from the V1, and I understand now why it's one of the best full-size small form factor keyboards out there and a prime candidate for uh, future mods. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think of this absolute unit. Check out AliExpress and their back to school event. You can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.